Welcome back. In the previous part, ooh, look at all these lovely bows. There's loads of lovely bows here. Because that is so many colors, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. What was that about? I don't know, let's go to the station. I think we paid off our debt in the previous part. It was something like that, wasn't it? And we can now travel, so let's see about that. Um, triglyph, that's what we want. Um, yes. Is this an actual scene? No, it's just us being on a train. You can open the map by pressing square. The square, it was, it was R3 in the previous game, but alright. The star icon marks your destination in the main chapter of the story. However, these star and exclamation icons may occasionally appear in high places, so if you can't find them at first, try adjusting the height of the map by using the right stick. I assume it means just that map here, rather than the world map. Did you just suddenly stand still? You're mid-stride! You okay? That's kind of strange, like... Have I pressed something that's made everything just... stall? Because she's constantly pointing... Everything's weird. Anyway, a relief! Well, I'm just glad we made it back safely. There's something comforting about coming back here. Comforting? Uh, you'd think you'd have a different approach to this place. Uh, considering what happened in the previous game, you'd be sort of be a bit put off. Considering all the Spyrexes and stuff. But I suppose he's trying to save the place, so... Comforting? Yeah, I couldn't tell you why I feel that way. Sometimes I get that feeling too. Like when I hug Rollo, or find something I thought I lost. Yeah, I guess it does kind of feel like that. But you know what I find most comforting? It's when I discover the tomato hiding in my food before I accidentally eat it. <laughs> what? What's so funny? It's nothing. It's just nice taking a break from everything and talking like this. Huh? Meow. M meow. Right, where are we meant to go then? Hop a train back home, but we've already done that! Look, we're here, so I'm assuming we go home. It's the only thing we really can do at this point. Is it really- like, this is why I need like a fast travel within this place. I can't remember that how the fast travel works in this. If at all. I do remember running up and down here quite a bit for some reason. Why do I remember that? Is it just me some doing something wrong, or did I... Oh no, I think it's sort of like I teleported here and I was going to a building in the middle. Which I don't want to talk about yet, because we've not gone there yet. It's one of those things, like, strange memories just pop up here and there, and it's like... Is that now, or later? Is this where you live? Meow. Meow. Where were we from? Third, third floor? I can't remember. Troubling, surely. I, I, I mean, based on the fact there's a star, we'll go with it being here, yeah. Why is his door different to- oh. I was gonna say, why is his door different to the rest, but they're, they're actually the same. Ignore me! Yes. Is this Julius's house? You live here, Rolo? No! Yeah, we'll go with that then. It feels like I haven't been back here in ages. Wonder when I'll get to go home. Chapter 3. It all falls apart. Because of course. So, now what? <coughs> the cat's got a point. I think we're all running on fumes. Ugh, tomatoes are gross! You just haven't eaten them properly. I mean, I mean, there's those different type of tomatoes, isn't there? The ones that are really, really big, but they're more prone to getting diseases and stuff like that. I can't remember what they're called. Someone remind me. Okay, I won't put any tomatoes in. Hm. Why are grown so hot on tomatoes anyway? My daddy likes them too. Indeed. Right, but several people have been asking, like, why do I keep choosing the options that I've already done? It's like, some of them don't seem kind of intuitive 
is the best way of putting it. It's like most of them, most of them are based around getting affection. Like that one we just selected them, where it was like, okay, I won't put any tomatoes in. That actually increased L's affection, but it's a, a hidden thing half the time. So it's sort of like, we have to go with that if we want to get certain events and stuff happen throughout the story. So it's, it is best I go with the ones I've already got ticked, because I already know I got all the other stuff in a previous playthrough. So, makes sense. Makes sense. So, just just ignore the tick. Ignore the tick. Just, just ignore the options, in fact. It just... Just, just pretend there's no options and it's just carrying on. Anyway, check the stove. The Rolo magnet on the fridge. I want one of them, actually. Rolo. Oh, this smells good. Thanks, Luger. It's so yummy! I feel like I'm eating at a restaurant. Hey, you cook as good as my daddy! Speaking of your father, Al, do you know where he is? No. Some scary men came to our house. I ran away by myself. That's why I'm going to the land of Canaan, so I can wish for my daddy to get rescued from those guys. Do pardon the intrusion, Luger. Mr. Bakor, I'm glad to see you're okay. I'm one of the lucky ones. No way. Surprise, phony! I guess not. Ivor. <laughs> You're quite an amusing little fellow, aren't you, Ivor? I could use a comic genius as one of my junior agents. Thank you, sir. What's this all about? You haven't been watching the news, I take it. New details have emerged about the terror attack, during which a train was hijacked and then crashed into the Oscor plant. The collision caused a massive explosion that ripped through the facility. More than 2,000 casualties were reported, including passengers and employees alike. Damages are said to exceed 10 billion gold, and experts estimate a final cost of at least 50 billion. Authorities identified the alleged mastermind behind the attack. An employee of Spurious Corporation, one Julius Kresnik. <coughs> what the? But Julius couldn't have... Couldn't have what? He attacked me at the scene of the crime for crying out loud. The police believe Kresnik didn't act alone. They're investigating persons of interest. Take a wild guess which person is the most interesting. Hey, me and Luger had nothing to do with those creeps! So the suspect's brother just happened to start his job at the station on the day of the attack. Then he vanished with the suspect. Coincidence? <laughs> Come on, you gotta believe us! If you're telling the truth, then prove it. Apprehend Julius. Then the facts are sure to come to light. What? But, but the scary glasses guy... ...is alive and at large. He contacted the CEO's GHS several hours ago. Huh? He's one of my top agents and far too skilled to fall into police custody. Around his little brother, on the other hand, he just might let his guard down. Well, Luger, what do you say? If you agree to catch him, I'll at least keep the police from getting in your way. <laughs> See, here we are. It's it's like, we've got to go with the fine, I'll catch him. It's like, because that increases our affection with some guy. I think it's this guy in front of us. I can't remember his name. Ah, well. But yeah... Ivor is back. At least in this game, by the way. He is actually funny in this game. Like, his scenes are actually good. And he's not a complete idiot. He's still a major idiot, but he's not a complete idiot. Let's put it like that. Fine. I'll catch Julius. A decisive lad. You've made the right choice. Luger... <sighs> 
As of now, you are under Spirius Corporation's protection. We have a pair of promising leads. First, your brother made contact with a researcher in Helioborg named Balin. Second, sources allege someone in Marksburg has been asking a lot of questions about Julius. Balin? How am I supposed to remember all that stuff at once, huh? So you want us to check out Helioborg in Marksburg, is that it? But how are we gonna get there without money? You really expect to get paid before doing any work? Honestly now, Luger. I thought Julius had raised you better than that. <laughs> Ivor, you never told me you knew Dr. Mathis. It's a long story. Hey, why are you going through all this trouble? I know the surface of this man, but that is not enough. Now, I must measure his depth. His depth. Alright, well, there you go. Chapter 3 is already done. We move through these quite fast. You're all geared up to get out there and find some info on Julius, but Luca needs to pay off his debt and get his movement restrictions lifted. Do your best to pay it back. Yeah, we need to go do some more quests. Luca seems like he's down on his luck. You and me will have to work extra hard to compensate. Meow. Yeah. Ivor and I, here we go. I never imagined that'd be how I'd run into Ivor again. How do you even know that freak? And why does he drop down on people like that? Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> how can you laugh about it, Luger? He knocked you on your butt like it was nothing. <sighs> Ivor's a very skilled warrior. As Maxwell's handmaid, he had to be. Maxwell's handmaid? It's kind of a long story. I see. Sounds complicated. Yeah. It shouldn't have been, but it was. Even though we both wanted the same thing. That's <laughs> one way of putting it. Right, down to the first floor. Let's go find these quests that we need to do then. Let's just have a look here. So, where's the quest board? Where is the quest board? Oh, it's there. It's this little monster icon. Alright, then I'm assuming we're meant to head out into the south region, at least. Something like that. Seems very, very strange to be still here, coming to this door. Like, Balin's place is over there. This is terrible! Booker, she's crying. Go do something. Oh, how embarrassing. Hi there. I'm Miss Kitty Cat. I moved in here with a hundred of my lovable cats. But I didn't quite land on my feet, as they say. Let's go back a sec. Did you say 100 cats? Why, yes. But during the move, they all got out of the bag. They've run off. What am I to do? I'm feline so helpless. I bet. D don't worry. It'll all be fine. Can I ask you for a favor? Would you perhaps help me find my babies? I'd be ever so grateful. Will they get along with Rolo? They're all very social. No need to be a fraidy cat. You gotta find them. I just can't live without them. Well, my room's on the first floor here. I'm just gonna take a little cat nap until you get back. Please stop by if you find any of my babies. And remember, if cat first you don't succeed, try, try again. I whisker you the best of luck. Oh dear. Let's go meow before she rubs off on us. I yeah. Oh dear, oh dear. The cat puns are just crazy. Can you imagine Nepgear saying stuff like that? No. If you see a lost cat out there on your travels, do the right thing and catch it. If you get all 100, something catastrophic good is sure to happen. And guess what? Kitty Dispatch has been unlocked. You can dispatch the cats you find all over the world to bring back items for you in Kitty Dispatch. Yep. There are items in the game that you can only get through Kitty Dispatch, so definitely give it a shot. Let's try to find the missing cat. That way Rolo will have more friends. I mean, there's one right here. Yep, he's there, look. He's there. He caught Carol. Yay. I'm sure there was another one around here. Ah, that's a dog. 
Why are you knocking out loot birds? It's just completely wrong, completely wrong. I'm sure there was another cat around here. I don't know. Let, let, let's speak to him then. Stop, losers. So you finally made it, huh? You better be prepared for what's up ahead. Got some provisions for you from the boss. You can get them from the bank over there. You're welcome. Thanks, Ivor. Pebble. Spidious blades. Apple gel. Orange gel. Life bundles. Thanks. Right, let's equip some of that stuff then. Get the spirit's blades. Like father's blade. It's like supposed to belong to El's father. Oh, that's where they came from then. Alright then. Simple as that. Simple as that. Um, what else did I get? Did I get anything here? I didn't get anything here, did I? I can't remember even what I got anymore. It's kind of bad. Oh yes, the uh, Allium Orbs. Let's see, we're getting Azure Edge and stuff like that soon, so it's like it's worth waiting for a little while to get these. Um, how about you? You're getting Palm Strike soon, so we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait. There's that. I know that it marks the kitty cats on the map. I'll probably get all them at some point, by the way. I've gone the wrong way. Yep. Just completely the wrong way. Doesn't that just match the area on the, um... Where was the other place we were at? I can't remember the name of the place now. Right, quest. But you may now view elite monster information. Lead monsters are powerful beasts that prowl around all parts of the world, but the job center will make it worth your while if you defeat them. If you are victorious, you're sure to get real rich real quick. Let's get this then. Sting of Terror. Yep. Um, can I? Oh, do I, if I just gotta kill it. Alright. Thought it was an actual thing. Kitty sightings. So, one in Duval. We'll get these kitty sightings. Um, one in the high road. One in Triglef. Um, we still need the wood wooden seal now. Oh, great. So, what could it have been? So, what's this? We'll go, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Let's trade. What do we need here? What do we need? Tanned leather. Where can we get that from? That's the question. Is there any here that we could have done straight away? Yeah, a few. Well, probably just that mag, mag magnetism one. Alright, so. We're looking for a kitty cat. I think. Let's have a look here. Not kitty cat. Let's see if we can send it. Yes, 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 yes. Drag left. Kitty crisps. Um, no. How do I tell it to dispatch? Dispatch kitty. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye, Rado. Okay. What are we doing? Library. Vandalists. Jobs. Kitty sightings one. So we need to go to Duval. Ooh, precise measures. So we've already done that. It is absurd. Is this one I've done? Yeah. These, these are the ones I've actually done before. Okay. It's like, it'd be nice if they just sort of disappeared. Move from Navi help? I don't know. What? That's just in, in general, is it? Deliver a small tomato omelette. So where's the one that's in Triglyph? Alright, my cat Susu has been spotted. She just loves trains. I'm sure I hope she isn't bugging the station workers. Oh, I'm so worried. Right, to the station! It's as simple as that. This is why I kept travelling backwards and forwards. This guy's got a red marker on him. So you think you've got the hang of battle yet? Oh, it's just that... Oh, no, I don't want to... No, 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 no. It's just that guy, but this... This version here... The one's over here! The sculptures that lurks... Oh, it's just telling me where stuff is. Simple as that. Alright. Remember all these things. There's just so many. This one's got more of a sort of mini game aspect to it compared to the previous one, where it's like this one starts off very like, like there's loads of things to do. It's like as if it's just run of the mill daily stuff, and then it starts to slowly get into the actual story. We've got, we've got a little touch of it, a little touch of it. So there should be a cat around here somewhere. Ah uh ha! -huh, hello, or are you something else? Oh boy, oh boy, a tomato envelope. So this is what it looks like. It looks scrumptious. Thanks a million. I think I can make something new out of this dish. I had it already. You work here at the station, right? Are you going to start serving these in the dining room? Nah, I just started here. All I make are staff meals for the guys in charge. If they like it, though, they might add it to the dining car menu or wrap some up for lunch boxes at the station. That's our chicken gratin. Great, 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 great. And stewed pork started off before they made it onto the menu. Staff meals. Sounds like such a fun place to work. Oh, it is. But it's busy. 
We don't get much break time. They tell us tell us the food we make is the source of economic stimulation in Olympias? It's a bit of a stretch. But we took business on an empty stomach. Well, their stomachs are in good hands. I guess. I mean, sort of failed the skills test when they interviewed me. It was a train that just arrived, alright. But the guy they hired started a grease fire his first day, and they called me in to take his place. Guess we just play the hand of fate. Play the hand fate deals us, and try not to get burned in a grease fire along the way, huh? Fate. Something wrong, Luda? Luda. Yep. Ludka, all you've done is say one word. Hey, look at me being a chatty Charles. I should get going now. I'm actually off today, but I thought I'd pop in and see if I could whip one of these up. Thanks again for your help. To pay you back, I'll let you try some of my cooking. See ya! That's a very friendly fellow. Where's the cat, though? Where's the cat? So it like trains, so where is it? Can I not go through there? Where's the cat? Meow? 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 Maybe it's outside. Nearby, outside somewhere. Meow? Meow. 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 I'm gonna go look it up. That's a simple way to do it, isn't it? Just find out where this cat is. It's there, look! Right there! It's just Kitty's just hiding. Suzu! Cried Suzu Collar. Alright, alright, alright. All right. So, next Kitty. Let's see where we're going here. So, event list. Jobs. So, we want to find Ruby's Collar. Ruby is in the high road. Okay, how do we get there? Can't remember how to get there. I think I vaguely remember how to get there. It's, it's one of those things where it's like, I'm not 100%. I don't know. I just don't know. But all this talk of cats actually reminds me of something I've been oddly running into recently. It's just odd commercials. It just reminds me of that because there's odd ones involving cats and stuff like that. It's like, I think there's like a, a, a Twitter thing going on as well. Aha, here's the high road. This is what we want. So where's the kitty cat out here? That's the question. Could just be vaguely running around looking for it. We'll get the big thing over there, though. Whether or not we'll survive, we'll see. I'm gonna see if I can get this thing behind it first. Let's see if we can sneak up behind it. That's what I want, at least. Let's go for it. Looks like I can't. It's vulnerable too. Um, hmm. Mallets, from the looks of it. It's strong against guns, but alright, so we want earth or wind. Do we have any of those skills at all? I mean, we have Azure's Edge. Try using wind. Azure. You tell me that now, El. You tell me that now. Let's just spam Azure Edge. That's pretty much it. When it goes down, we just wait. Simple. You may have noticed I'm going to play this game a bit more properly. That's the best way of putting it. Defending when I get the appropriate chances, etc, etc. Just think it's like me, for me for some reason. It just didn't play correctly how I wanted in my head. What did I just... What, did, what, what just happened to it? It did a weird thing. Oh, it's like it's properly down. Eventually that. It's not doing anything. Very weird. There we go. Let's break them down. Indeed. With my fists and your blades. Yes. That's all you can say. It's so weird. Now I have the strength to HP gain? Lovely. Right, so where's Kit Cat? Where's Kit Cat? Probably should. Again, do another cut and go find the Kitty Cat. It's probably best, isn't it? Unless that is. I think I see it. I think I see it over there. I can hear it. It's meowing. We got the cat, we got Ruby. Lovely. Right, assuming we're in the right location for what I think we are. That's a sentence that makes sense. Well, where I think we are. Because of the fact I've unlocked stuff on the map, it makes sense that if we carry on, we'll get to Duval. Why do we need a train between these two locations? Because it's not that far. It's like... 
It's a few, like a few minutes walk to get to the next town. I mean, I wouldn't even call it the next town. I, Triglef is a big city. This, this place we're going to, Duval or whatever, I, I keep forgetting the name of it, surely is part of that. Surely. I haven't actually spoke about what I was going to bring up, which is the um, adverts. Now, strangely, I was like... I think once I can especially think of the PlayStation adverts. We'll get to it at some point. We'll get to it at some point. I'll, I'll get some examples. Right, so we're looking for the cat, which I, if I remember is up here. That's a... That, I was going to say that's a pigeon. No, it is a cat. There we got Luke. Okay, a simple question. Duval is a market town. They say you can buy just about anything here. Huh. Everyone's yelling about how cheap their stuff is. How much lower are the prices here? I, I don't remember having this one. Um, hmm. Let's go with so low they bleed. So low they bleed. Huh? Bleed? Oh, that's just a local expression. When shops set the prices so low that they're losing money, or at least claiming they are, they call it bloodletting. Huh. But they don't actually stab themselves or anything, right? Not that I've ever heard of. <laughs> it's just, Rolo just adds this other element to it. It's just very nice. Right, so. Ooh. Wood token. Awesome. Alright, so that one's done. Right, so report completion. What's this one? So we wanted some tanned leather. Where do we get tanned leather from? That's the thing. I don't know. It's got to be out there somewhere, isn't it? Okay, so. Uh, 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 uh. We've currently got four of them. So let's get the ones that we can hand straight in. That's probably best. Badge. Let's pick up those two. What? Appropriate title. Okay, I was like, what's going on there? Why, why, why can't I pick up that? Why can't I do this? It's all here. Thanks for the payment. Well, let's give them seven thousand. There we go. You've been dropping such regular BMs lately. Oh. A VM is just biz talk for bank monies. Keep up the payment pace. Bank monies. Wow, wow. Looks like I can lift another one of those pesky travel restrictions. But oh. Whoops. Anyway, yes, we're going to Marksburg. Let's go with Marksburg. Roger that. Ah, uh, Marksburg. The slender thread that ties Olympias to Rizomaxia. I've never been there myself. You've got to tell me what it's like. Send me a postcard or something, will ya? By the way, just a teensy bit more, and I might be able to lift the other restriction, too. Toodles! Toodles, I guess? So someone's looking for Julius? I wonder who. Your clothes sure smell nice. What's that smell from? Do they? I don't do anything special. It's probably just the fabric softener. I mean, it probably is, yes. I was gonna say, like, why has he got a shiny symbol? It's just the weird effect of being over there. Alright, that's strange. Right, anyway, we're gonna end this part here, and in the next part we'll go off to Marksburg, as we can actually just go there from here. So we'll see you in the next part. Ta-ta for now.